नमस्कार आई एम रमेश वशिष्ठ एस्ट्रोलॉजी टीचर एंड कंसल्टेंट फ्रॉम गुड़गांव हरियाणा इंडिया इन माय अर्लियर वीडियो आई हैड क्लेरिफाइड अबाउट द मिथ्स एंड कंफ्यूजन्स इन मैचिंग ऑफ हॉरोस्कोप्स फॉर मैरिज पर्पस इन द सेम सीरीज टुडे आई एम टचिंग a topic which is also creating so many confusions among the society that is manlik or kuja dosha in south it is called kuja dosha north india it is manlik dosha there is a big hoax of this manlik dosha even most educated parents and so called modern boys and girls they are so afraid of this manlik dosha that they just scare if one of the boy or girl is manlik and the second is not the so called astrologers who have not done in depth study they will say that that marriage is not acceptable i have come across in the practice of my 25 years so many modern boys they will come and ask please see whether the girl has manlik dosha when i ask even if she has what will happen they say so so i have confirmed opinion that if one is manlik and the other is not one out of the two will definitely die i try to explain them that this is not the case this is a total myth and confusion created by our astrologers who finalize the fate of the boy and the girl on a single basis of one dosha only same like matching of horoscope same is case with manlik dosha they will go through the chart <coughs> see five bhavas the first house fourth house seventh house eighth house and twelfth house if out of these five if mars is positive in any one of them a boy or girl is called to be a manlik but what is this manlik dosha manlik comes from mars mars basically is a planet of endurance aggression martial martial word is derived from mars only and mars is very much required in every profession for rise in life i understand a logic and that i explain in my classes also that in married life aggression is not required submissiveness is required that is true <coughs> because to unknown entities they unite together after marriage and there are so many differences in their nature and mars may create some temperamental problem but the logic that either both should be manlik is not acceptable because mars will give aggression to the both boy and girl and that situation i don't find any logic if both are non manlik that is good if both are non manlik even then there should not be a denial of marriage because we see only the dosha we don't go for 
the Pariharas. In our ancient texts, Shastras, there are so many references in which it is explained that there are nullifications, cancellations of this dosa. In this chart itself, but no astrologers does the in-depth study. They will just superficially see only five houses and declare manglik or non-manglik. Whereas our text says, Ne mangli mangal rahu yoge, Ne mangli chandra bhas gudivtiye, Ne mangli kendra gati charahu, Ne mangli pashati yash jive. And the other, Saptame yada sori lagne vapi chaturthake astame dvad sechev, Tada bhomo ne dos kirtam, Ukta sthane su chandrache ganayet pap kecharan papadike vares reste vivaham pravade dudhe. And the other text says Chandra kendra gate vapi tasya doso ne mangli. Means even if the Mars is placed in one of these five houses, but some other malefic planet like Saturn. Rahu, Ketu, or Sun, they are also posited in one of the five houses, then this dosa gets nullified. And if Mars is exalted or posited in own house or is expected by Jupiter or benefic planets, then also the dosas gets cancelled or nullified or their effect is minimized. Otherwise also this theory uh, of Mangalik dosa was written by our astro, uh, astrological sages around 2000 years ago. That time the marriageable age of boy and girls was for girl it was below 20 and for boy it was normally 21 to 25. But now when both boy and girl they go for higher studies and they marry only after getting well settled in life, normally both of them pass 25 years. And in Sastras there is also mention that the Mars or the Manglik Dosa gets effective less after 25 years. But all boys, girls and their parents, they will only go for the advice of astrologers and in so many cases I have seen that even if the boy and girl, they are most compatible astrologically as well as educationally, professionally, and they like each other. Even then, sometimes, such astrologers, they confuse and the parents are so worried that they are undecided whether to marry such boy and girls or not. In so many cases, I have clarified that if there are pariharas and cancellations, you should not get worried of this dosha. You go for in-depth studies and you take a holistic approach, not a single factor approach. Because the marriage, married life is so complex that it is not governed by a single principle. We should adhere to micro level analysis and consult a qualified astrologer before taking or rejecting any proposal. Thank you.